Here we are, we are live. Welcome, everybody, to Bears and Dragons, where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons! Thank you. Welcome. So, our uh, intrepid adventures, uh, the Wayfaring Strangers, currently in Blingdenstone. What have they done recently? What's what's going on in Blingdenstone? In well, Blingdenstone. we just just secured a meeting with the um, Deep Gnomes and the Were Rats. Uh, they're going to meet to help possibly join forces with us and all together and then do um, fight the oozes and the pudding king someone is dubbing themselves who they think is behind all this I, mean, I think we saw him and he looked like a scary mother because he was petting an ooze and not burning um, that was disconcerting very very disconcerting and then while we're back in Grackle Stoop, we came upon a skeleton hand that belonged to a person that lived here. So we decided that, oh, they need to get put to rest. And in recordings, uh, while doing all that, we were given two, two more quests to do. To help everything out. To destroy Vazook. A gnome who is mad with grief, and then recover the na the remains of a deep gnome named Udhask. Hash. Udhask. 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 Best. Um. Yeah, and that's kind of where we stopped. That's right. Uh, so Bear Warden, uh, gives you the task, uh, I think, I don't remember if you mentioned where Udhask was, he was kind of in the Rock Blight District. That's of north the city. section it's of, there. yeah, it says in, like, little thing. Becker knows the Deep Known died somewhere in right. Rock Blight, the northeast section of Blindenstone. I'm ready. What do we want to do first? Um, wasn't the meeting happening like the next day? Uh, they didn't really say specifically. Uh, you did take it that you they didn't need you there. So you secured the meeting. That's all really you need. So I'm we're really bad at making political discussions, so <laughs> I'm over that part. So we're technically done with that one? For now. Yep. Task checked off. Alright. So And they were going to take care of the Pudding King, or that was on us? Um, <clears throat> right now, they seem to be gathering forces. So, and if they're, they're having an assault, we don't know anything about that yet. Well... I think we can kind of do both of these new quests all at once in a way. Go get oh. the remains, and then go after the specter, and then go back to the catacombs. True. So I would say let's go look for the remains first. Sounds like good enough plan to me. Make your way back over to Rock Blight. 
Ah, excuse me. Yes. We're making our way through town. So you travel through Rock Blade, having cleansed the, uh, uh having banished Ogre Mott's Bane to its normal realm, and uh, cleansed the uh, stone in the same area. Uh, it seems pretty quiet over here right now. Does it look like anyone has traveled by? Any kind of, any signs of nope, you do travel hear, in that way? Yeah, you, you remember coming through here and hearing like the sounds of battles that always seem to be like in the distance, <laughs> no matter where you went. Um, you don't hear that now. Are we right here? Yes. Jim Jar? So you just okay. entered in the... Yeah, Jim Jar is your, your party marker. Yep. Um, do we know which way we're supposed to go? Like, uh... Northeast. Just northeast. Okay. Well, uh... Who wants to lead the way? Not it. It's either Rome or Holly or... Or one of those two. They seem the bulkiest. Uh... Go this way and... Did you say that it was like quiet or something? Yeah. Yeah, last time you hear hear you heard like it, you kept hearing the sounds of battle. Kind of it, it always sounded like it was in the distance. It kind of was like the echoes of battles in the past were just haunting the place. But you're not hearing that anymore. Do we know why we were hearing them? Like what created that event. Who knows? Oh. Decades ago is when the, the when the drow took over the and basically ransacked the city. Yeah, I, I know about the the war or battle, but um like why were we hearing the battle? Never did really no. try to investigate that. Uh, hey guys, did y'all notice that the sounds of war is, is gone? I think they were coming from the western side. It was uh, omnidirectional. It was, okay. it was as if you were surrounded. There was no really directionality. And no matter where you were in this area, it was as if it was like just out of your shot like you could just hear it you could identify it as being some sort of battle but <laughs> it didn't really have a direction to it and it's gone now so uh when we were here before did it go out as we were here or is this new to us this is new. Oh. Who did we kill last time? Or what did we stop? And it's currently in the workings. We must have done something. With, uh... Let's uh, continue. You mean like and... uh, start a meeting between two uh, groups of people that hate each other? That were at odds? Do you think that peace has the capability of stopping ghost sounds? 
Who said they were ghost sounds? Whoa. There could have been actual fighting. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's keep moving forward and see what we can find. Has to be around here somewhere. You do see in this area the the hovels, the various households. That were and this uh, is, living in this area. This was the same area where we actually saw an actual ghost, right? Mm-hmm. And now it's just completely quiet. Um, well, for the hell of it. Just check back in that that house where we first saw that ghost. See if anything's different. You enter the old burrow. And within the burrow, you see uh, the skeletal remains of a dark gnome. A deep gnome. You do also see the, uh, remember, um, I don't remember who it was, but, uh, somebody had, uh, grabbed something from under the bed and he got a few things. A potion and some gems. Could this, could this be the remains that needs to be put to rest? I mean, either way, it is a dead body. We should... Maybe just take it with us anyway. Looking around at uh, the other homes, you do not find any other skeletons. Well, I think this might be as good as any, or at least the man that we're the deep one that we were looking for. So you collect the bones? I collect the bones. Them bones, them bones, them bones, them bones. You now have a collection of deep known bones. Did we ever did we ever explore here or here? Uh, uh you did go in here. These these doors are are just really more metal walls. They're not even doors. Black apes. Okay. I'm always curious. If anybody else minds checking this area out just for all of it. That's where we went. Um... Oh, what do we... We fought something there. Because, oh, what was it? It was like a few sessions back. Uh, it was a couple of gargoyles and an earth elemental attack you. Yeah. Okay, so we have been there. Yeah. Okay. I believe you also acquired something from here as well. All right. Well, now since we have these remains, which one haunting his old home? So as far as Vazek is concerned, we don't fully know where he is exactly, other than disturbing the residents of Blundenstone. Or we could always just go ahead and return these remains to the catacombs and then try and hear any sort of rumors or stories going on about Vazek. Sounds good? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. 
turn into the catacombs and yeah. return. Let's return to the catacombs. The bear warden appears as your uh, appears and leads you to an appropriate place. And he says, uh, "Thank you for bringing Udgas's body back here. His spirit should be laid to rest. Hopefully, it didn't cause you any trouble." Not a single bit. I am curious, though. I, some days ago, we came across a ghost. I, I'm not sure if it was him or just one of the former residents there. Was it in that area? It was. Uh, that was most likely him. Hmm. Having Do died you know much and being a spirit him? can disturb you. Fortunately, I have more gumption to that. Well, hopefully he'll know peace now that he's been properly buried. And he I'm won't... Sure uh... He uh, I believe you have the other task. Uh, uh, have you been to the residential areas? I know... Uh, I believe his. I believe. Uh, names. I believe uh, Vazuk's home was near the Singing Stones. Oh, okay. Should be, to, should be to the south. If you hear uh, some music being played, I know that frequently. Uh, uh, frequently. What's her name? Uh, Gara Songstone likes to play the crystals for the youngins. Is any good? Oh, she's great. The children love it. That's all that matters, really, I guess. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good do you think she is? No, a 10 for certain. She's been playing the singing stones for years. She is a great stone singer. Oh, plenty. I'm so sure she could be among the bars of legends. Except for the stones don't move, so... Kind of a little... little difficult to transport them around. Take your word for it. Alright, well, if we have no more need of us here, we will make our way. Excellent. Thank you for your assistance. Of course. We'll do a little Very polite good. bow. And... As we move away from the guy, uh, I'll whisper, the guy is creepy. Why do you say that? He's too used to being around dead people or dead things. I mean, he is a ghost. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this guy was like a, a a live priest guy that we were talking to. No, he's been a ghost this entire time. Great. Um, yeah, that guy's creepy because he's a ghost. <laughs> that just sounds a little racist? <laughs> Question mark? I'll be that. Ghosts should not be here. They, they belong dead. Just dead. Oh, eloquently put. Thank you. I heard that. It was all him. <laughs> he doesn't speak for us. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Onward? <laughs> Onward. Upward? Uh, southward. southward. 
right? Just, yeah, the, the, I believe some you guys can actually control the gym jar icon. Yeah, I'll control it this time unless someone else wants to. It's all yours. Okay. I'm a friend. So we're going south. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, south is 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 to the west. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because <laughs> it was like. Hmm? So. Uh. Are we going south west into south or are we going south? He just said to the south. So this is true. Oh actually we can do it the, this direction. It's a residence, so that's what you're kinda of looking for. Uh Let's go this way. Oh, I'm kind of curious. As we're walking through the town, since we've been doing little deeds here and there, we were kind of met with suspicion at first. Are people more open to us? Does it well, seem? They're much more friendly, having heard the tales of your bravery. Uh, as you turn around the corner here, you hear uh, coming from hear uh, the sounds of beautiful crystalline sounding music. What does crystalline music sound like? Like, like ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I imagine it being like when people play like those little water uh, wine glasses, you know, mm. those chalices. <laughs> we must be getting... That's by head you know. Oh, I'm controlling, I'm sorry. Uh I guess we'll just follow the sound of crystals. Music seems to be fading away. Oh, okay. Well, I can't exactly. <laughs> it's, a, it's coming from here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, as you enter uh, this uh, little area, you can see uh, seven uh, deep gnome children uh, sitting, sitting in awe as a uh, very pretty little deep gnome lady. Uh, is uh, has these like little uh, has these um, uh, uh, what do they call them? It's it's a stick with the padded padded uh, uh, padded tips that you can use to like hit on bells. Can't remember. What it's but it's uh, clinging on some stones, kind of like a xylophone sort of type of thing. Okay. And some pretty stones. It's very pretty music. Uh, is there a seat to kind of watch the performance? Uh, there Sorry. seems to be kind of uh, some rows of like pillows. So there isn't really uh -huh. kind of, like seats. Um, there is not. Like an enormous amount. Think of it like kind of like a classroom, like a music classroom, where there's like a little stage where she's playing, and and just like just a little bit below it is basically just rows for like seats for some sort of performance. But it's not a very big space. Well, since we're here, might as well take it a show. Sure, we do. We have the time for that. Oh, I mean, I don't think we're Karad on a time does, Well, I mean, Karad does plan to make this place his home one day. And get yeah, to know I, all I the sights and sounds, so to speak. Yeah, and I don't think we were really on a time crunch. Okay, well, let's take a seat.
Um, there's probably no reason for it, but I'm gonna Lasser's gonna keep a an eye and ear out for like any magic stuff going on. He doesn't trust the the lady and her her music. Is he doing any kind of like singing with the performance or just playing her, her instrument? Uh, it seems to be more of just uh, pl a playing. Okay. I'm not using detect magic or anything. He's just using his own senses. Give me a perception check. Blue. Oh. <laughs> I knew it, she shit. You're just so enthralled really by the performance. Day for everybody. Uh, last year, this music sounds great. Everybody else, uh, maybe the singing. Maybe this is not her best day. Well, I mean, at least the children it's, are it's enjoying not it, right? Bad. It's not like bad. Like the children it, love it's it. It's nice, but it's it's like not great. But they, but for some reason, the children are enthralled. The ghosts told the truth. This is pretty amazing. Maybe. What do you think, Rod? Would you would you come back here one day to listen to the crystals? Yes. <laughs> Maybe you could get her to come back to the to the. Uh, to the end and, and perform there while you cook. Oh, that wouldn't be my place to make those kind of decisions. Um, who knows? One day. She's already impressed with you. But anyway, this will wait for her to finish and approach her. After uh, a few minutes, uh, she does finish her performances, and the kids cheer and and come up, and they and she just kind of like uh, shows them, gives a couple of them the mount mallets. That's what they're called, uh, mallets. Do just kind of like bang, and they just kind of make the kind of coffee and noises while they're playing around. Uh, if she sees you uh, all, and she uh, comes down from the platform, letting the kids play with the singing stones and says oh welcome uh, I'm sorry about the performance not my best but as you can see the kids don't what do you mean you're you were amazing oh, my my thank you uh are you the the outsiders that have been helping out the city we appreciate that so much is there anything that I can do for you you were actually here uh, seeking what we understand a a ghost that's been blighting the residents of Blindenstone lately. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, in the residential area, just right around the corner, uh, just if you go outside, it's just a little bit to the east. Um, the entrance there, you'll find uh, find the a family had moved into to some of the quarters there, but it was uh, quickly rushed out by a specter of some sort. I'm guessing that's what you're going to investigate or t and take care of at this time. Has he been haunting in this area alone? Yes, we haven't really been able to do anything about it, but uh, we're not powerful adventurers like you. <laughs> well, fortunately, um, I don't know if it's because something with singing stones or anything, but it seems like his own home is where he prefers to stay. It's. I'm assuming that he was a resident from. From before. 
before mm. and died here. Must be very. It must have been a, pain, a very painful end, and he's wanting revenge. I don't know. I wonder if there's anyone still alive that knew him in life. Mm, possibly. Um, possibly not. We don't know. We've been, we've been back for uh, several months here, and no one's been able to pacify him. Hmm. He's quite Would we know? We need to lay him to rest by destroying his spirit. His the specter. What have you? Hmm. We've been known to be able to take care of ourselves. Excellent. That is good to hear. Well, I don't. I, I can't speak for the rest, but I thoroughly enjoyed your your performance, and want to at least thank you for reaching out and speaking to us. No. Offer her a gold. Oh, my! Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Oh no, I, 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 I have a, a different way of uh, performing, so to speak. So I can, I can appreciate a fellow artist. Well, that's good. That's very good to hear. Here, and thank, thank you for all your assistance. I'm glad I could be of some assistance to you. And maybe come back another day when I'm a, uh, in better purpose. Or oh, my, better form. My, my friend Karad here might be a uh, frequent visitor. Oh, well, that's good. Good to meet you, Karad. Hello. If, if you plan on playing better than what you did just now i i'd really pay to listen to it well i offer my services more more for entertainment to children and just adults coming by by and appreciating the performances pay enough uh, you know if you uh tried at it you could go big Sell tickets and stuff for your music. Maybe once Blingdenstone has returned to its original splendor. Could be a Could show time now. Oh no, no, <laughs> I couldn't. Anyways, thanks. You're very welcome, and she gives you a wave goodbye. Well, I guess now we have a path, but I'm still kind of curious why this ghost is being so hostile to people. It's a ghost. Well, not all ghosts are hostile, as we've seen from the man in the catacombs. He'll get there eventually. I would think a, a man of the cloth would be a little more... Open and forgiving to the spirits. No, no way. Ghosts. No. Once dead. What, what is dead should stay dead. Well. Technically he is still dead. He's just. No. Not at, not at rest. <laughs> That's the <boring>. way. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, go around the uh, residential area and find that house. Which way is it? <clears throat> I missed it. It was around the corner. Um, which corner? I believe east. I believe it was east. Oh. Just, just right next door, essentially. Oh, okay. What? 
is this good? All right. You enter into an area that just goes down a little bit, and you see uh, three. What looks to be uh, three uh, deep dome homes. Like restart back at level one. Well, you do not do we, see anybody in residence at the moment. Do we hear anything? Uh, okay, so you perceive... Yeah, pretty, uh, okay. Give me a perception check. I'm ready to give me a perception check. And then it's done. Still getting blood. Or I got a twelve. Oh, we crap. <laughs> oh. Why do you think it showed up for Holly but not for Karad? Oh, I had to refresh the what? <coughs> uh, pages. We're missing one, right? Yeah, I need that. Both of gauge. Alright, Laster and Syra. And what did Karad get? Twelve. Uh, Laster and Syra, uh, you are able to tell that the one to the far right, or your far left, excuse me, uh, seems to, uh, you see, like, uh, something just kind of, like, vanished to start right out of sight. Like, something was looking at you or something, and disappeared. Did it disappear, or did it move out the way? It just kind of like, you saw it, and then all of a sudden you didn't. Like some, uh, think... like those things that are just like out of the corner of your eye. I think we've been spotted, but I'm not sure. Thought I thought I saw something on the, in that house to the left there, but just as my eye caught it, it, it moved out of my, my vision. I saw it too. Vazak, is, is that you? Don't get a response. Um, no one, let's get out of here. We were here to take care of this. What do you mean, get out of here? Well, he's not home. Like, we might as well go check somewhere else. Are you scared, Lassiter? What? <laughs> no. Insight. <laughs> That's a damn lie. Uh... Lyra, insight, uh, last word, deception, or, or persuasion. I don't know which are which are you trying to do. More. Yeah, he he's he's scared of ghosts. Out of all the things we've faced so far, this is what what gets to you. Look, man, everyone has their saying: "Ghost is mine." Just a few days ago, we fought a woman with snakes in her hair that could turn you to stone. Snakes are not ghosts. Now, if you throw a ghost snake at me, then that's another problem. But, um, th that's, that's another story. Uh, he's not here. We might as well check somewhere else. I think we're exactly where we need to be.
Huh, I wonder, does this, this, this do anything? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'm, I'm going to step forward and get a little closer to that left, left house. You step forward. If you start to actually see inside the house, you see you like what looks to be like a table and some pillows that were scattered. Um, a little further in, you see a bed in the back. Um, a very simple residence. Can I possibly try some of like? religious type praying like uh oh go sets trap here show yourself Bahamut commands it it's... please do please please do I mean the power a religion tech I suppose <laughs> the power of Bahamut compels you <laughs> does it last there uh... Does it really? I don't feel compelled. Okay. <laughs> Your mother breath weapons in hell. <laughs> <laughs> so you try to do some sort of like exorcist type summoning? I don't know what you're trying to do. Um, and nothing seems to happen. Hey, Sarah. There's nothing here. Let's go. Well, we haven't truly looked around. And you never know what you might find. I mean, you haven't even gotten into the residence. Exactly. If you're so afraid, just wait here by the front door. If you see something, just yell out. Oh, uh, if, if you don't think that I'm of use... Then yeah, I'll stay right here if that's the plan. Here, if this makes you feel better, and she'll snap her finger and produce Silva. Here, Silva can can perch on your shoulder and, and and keep an eye out with you. How about that? Silva so goes to perch on his shoulder, and then the then uh, uh gold uh, pseudo dragon kind of like moves out of the way and goes on the other shoulder and. Just it, it moves his head in front of in front of uh, Lasser and starts squawking at at um, Soba. This is really unnecessary. I imagine Soba just her head just turns one eighty, just looks at. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel safer now? <laughs> very you have much. Two so. familiars. Oh, you have a very cranky. Uh, 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 pseudo dragon on one shoulder and Sova on the other. Well, good luck, guys. <laughs> uh, I will bless, I think. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not the actual spell. Guidance? No. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, guidance. Um, they're both spells. Yeah, well, one's a cantrip, one is a, uh, spell thing. Level spell. Leveled. There we go. Guidance uh, is the cantrip. So, uh, uh, Karad can get a d4 to... His next ability check. Cool. Alright, and I guess I will start going into the home and doing an investigation. I shall follow. I will not. Unless I hear something like happen. So, can I roll investigation? I didn't see that I changed. I was looking at my character sheet. 
Uh, I assume that's the entrance up here. Probably not. So, what do we see immediately? What do you see? What you see? Uh, coming from a wall behind you, like right next to the door. Uh, uh, I gotta get through the right layer. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Coming up right at Syra is uh, um, a, a deep gnomish translucent ghost uh, looking quite frazzled. Regular, but I'm doing it. And um, he just comes out saying, Mine! My stuff! Not yours! And he, he attacks his arm. Well, that's not nice. <laughs> Yeah, How rude. Attack. One four four slam. Attack you. Uh, it does not hit. That doesn't hit you. <laughs> and you just... mm, it kind of flies to the other end of the room. And with that... Jeez. Quote unquote surprise round. No, time for initiative. All right, uh, who has the better decks between Syra and Laster? I have 20 decks, so probably me. I just closed my whole D&D page. <laughs> um, give me a second. Is it, do you um, know if it's less than 20? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's less than 20. Okay, sorry. Pretty Yeah, that looks... Yeah, my index is 12. Alright. Having taken care of the surprise round and everybody else being like, ah! <laughs> you know how much? That's just rude. <laughs> you come here to talk and you try and slam me. Uh, Syrah, I would like you to, uh, give me a strength check. A check or a save? A check. Okay. Uh, you're probably gonna read it. Oh, nope. We didn't. Okay. Uh, so... The creature uh, waves his hand upwards, and you go flying up to the uh, 20-foot ceiling and bang your head head on the ceiling. Uh, hard. I'm going to say... I'm going to do it. Take five points well, of damage from hitting the ceiling, uh, and then you fall to the ground. 
taking another four points of damage. Uh, actually, roll me a dex, uh, yeah, roll me a deck save quickly. If you can, like, mitigate the uh, falling damage. Oh! <laughs> you do, you deserve some for that. You only take the five damage. You're able to, as as you fall, you do, like, three point landing. <laughs> take no damage. I stick the landing where my head really hurts. <laughs> Well, that was completely uncalled for. Mine! Uh, let's see. Holly. Okay. Oh, perfect. Alright, technically now. Uh, this is a table, so yeah. you consider, consider going up difficult terrain. I mean, it's not a high table. I mean, it's for deep gnome, so. We get right there. Uh, and by the way, these these circles are pillows. Oh, they're pillows. They're pillows. So the big circle is a table. Everything else is pillows. Well, except for the. Uh, Rectangles are more like counters mm -hmm. and a bed. Get there. And then. Throw the pillow at him. He's gonna create a bubble of acid and use acid splash. So I need a deck saving throw. Uh, I would assume that fails. That it does. Thanks. Seven acid. Okay, anything else? That's it. Alright, Lasseter. I should go before him, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, did that not reorder? Hold on. Or I didn't reorder after I did that. There we go. There we go, Syra. Let's see. I haven't used that before, but I will wait. Two. Um, I will begin my blade song. Oh. Uh... Uh, and one, two. If I do an acrobatic check, can I try to jump up on here? Would that yeah, still be? I mean, it's not high, so it would be just uh, like a little bit of extra movement to get up because it's difficult terrain. But but if you do an acrobatic check and I got a DC in mind, then we'll negate the difficult terrain. Okay. Yeah, you totally. Twenty-five. Do. No problem. You do not. So was one, two, three, Getting four. Getting down does not require. Uh, does is not considered difficult terrain. Only going up. Six and seven. All right. And since he was so rude to me. Rapier. Nineteen. Nineteen, will it? Rapier number two. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> the thing about poltergeist. Um, <clears throat> so, your magical rapier, uh, uh, you you stab at him with a, a green glowing blade, and a, he seems to dissipate. We're done. God, they don't have much. Really? Yep. Oh wow! <laughs> that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? A little bit, yes. Yeah. 
kind of. All that. <laughs> like, I poked they... him and he died. <laughs> Just poop. What happened? He, he, uh, he, he, it's more of you poked him and he goes, ah! And just goes up in green flame. Green flame. Did, did you find him? Did, did I do it? <laughs> I think that's it. Oh. <laughs> With all the stories, I thought he'd be more formidable. I thought he was more formidable, but apparently he's not. Uh, well, since we've taken care of him, I guess there's nothing stopping us from checking his house. And yes, we'll call up Lesser. Yeah, you missed everything. Go ahead and uh, anybody who wants to search, give me a perception check. Age will come in and help. Perception. I don't know why I try. Oh. <laughs> oh. Guess I don't see anything about. Not gonna look hard or anything. Lasseter, the ghost is gone. Get in here. Are you sure? I. <laughs> Poked him and he poofed. Uh, you, uh, uh, the, the gold pseudo dragon looks at you and rolls his eyes and he flies into the. And lands me. on the table and kind of looks around and kind of sniffs around. I'll, uh. Looks back I'll, at you and goes. <laughs> as soon as La Lasseter comes in, I'll just like, oh no, the ghost is back! <laughs> Uh, give me a deception check. Fifteen. Uh, Lasser, give me an insight check. Ah, bitch. Freak out. He got eleven. You got eleven. <laughs> Poltergeist is still here, Lasseter. Uh, freak the freak um, out. I cast Shatter on the table. Oh gee, what's the what's the what's the DC? Oh. Huh. Hey, people. There's reasons uh, why I need to know the DC. Why? Oh, there we go. 17. Con 17. Con 17. Thanks, go again. Um, <laughs> you instinctively shatter. The table explodes. And so uh, you have no idea where uh, Little Borcat is. He was right there on the table the last time you saw him. Oh, but the you monster! <laughs> Sova, actually, when you do that, just kind of like flitters <laughs> off and flies over to, to Siren. It's right next to her. Her lands on her shoulder. Uh. She'll brush down her feathers and just kind of like, um. Send her back to the, uh, to the void. <laughs> Get her out of danger. I mean, I don't, I don't really have an excuse. I was scared. God damn it! That scene in Little Mermaid when Ursula kills her eels. <laughs> My poor little poopsies. Uh, can I? Can I snap with the idea of bringing Borcat back? You snap and nothing happens. Well, uh, that got rid of him, I guess. 
rid of him. He was familiar. I mean, I didn't ask for him in the first place, but uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to. But you just did. Sorry. It's like like asking for dog and Faye. Sarah's Sarah gonna go up to Karad. Like I think, I think Lassiter is becoming one of the crazy, crazy ones now. Just now. Oh. Like it's only just happening. Maybe his head's gonna split open next, or. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'll be ready. Fine. It's just, I, Karad scared me. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, Laster, can you give me a constitution saving throw, please? Saving throw? Yes, please. You said con, right? Yes. 20. I don't know why nothing's showing up anymore. Are you, are you doing like a GM roll? No, maybe I'll refresh but um uh, was a twenty. Uh, laster you feel a hangover coming on oh oh this little pain in the back of your eyes it's good that it's dark you know we're in the underdark and there's not like an exorbitant amount of light because if there was, you would probably be practically blind because of the way your eyes seem to be a little more sensitive. Guys, I think I fucked up. Do you really not know how to get your familiar back? No, he, he just popped up one day after a rest. He was there. In case you have noticed, I haven't really had any control over him. Well, a pseudo dragon isn't just a normal familiar. I mean, well, uh, I might need to sit down for some time. Matter of fact, one of these pillows look really comfortable. No, we, we ain't gonna sit down now. Deal with it on the move. Alright. As you turn around and exit the hovel, into the hallways, which, well, not bright because it's the Underdark and, you know, still ravaged city is still working on it. Uh, it is brighter oh. than it is in the hovel. Uh, so, uh, that headache what? gets a little worse. Was there any it's tolerable, trace? But it's there. Was there any trace of Borcat? Like, did he just poof or did he poof. pop? Or pop? Oh, yeah. But so, wait, was there blood? No. Mm. Oh. Uh. <laughs> How much? How much uh, do you think Laster actually knows about familiars? Zero. Okay. I was gonna say if if he really didn't know, I would show him the summoning of how to do a find familiar response. He he tried. He just, that, uh... If you show him, he's gonna be like, "Yeah, that so that sounds familiar. I kind of know what this is," but. Just, I know the ritual. <laughs> just about familiars, just in general, not necessarily out of some. Well, I don't know if he actually like got destroyed. So, familiars are never truly destroyed. I mean, they go back to the to the void where they come from. But I mean, if you're gonna treat your familiar that way, I, maybe I don't want to teach you this spell. Uh, 
What Cyber well, doesn't my... know is he already knows the spell. <laughs> yeah, well, I yeah, know, but I just Blaster doesn't know that he can just cast it again. Yeah, that's what I mean. I was gonna show you the ritual for it, but seeing as you blasted are familiar and like and said, Oh, I got rid of him and I'm like, mm. <laughs> Did you know? I didn't do it. Maybe Borkat's better off where he is. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll just continue on. Uh, sorry, Rest we'll in talk, peace, park out. Well, while talking to Laster, you know that that pendant he, he's uh, wearing on occasion, sometimes takes it off and then he looks drunk, but when he puts it back on, he's not so drunk. Um, it used to be like a gold dragon scale. It's now like very pale. It doesn't really have any color. Uh oh. What happened to your your uh, amulet there, Lassiter? Well, I'm assuming when uh, Orcat disappeared, um, the amulet's power disappeared too. Uh, they both showed at the showed up at the same time, so it's possible that they're connected. <laughs> well, what did it? It seemed to have some good effect for you. Well, let's just say I'm really <laughs> fucked up right now. <laughs> he's a little wobbly, but you know, he's he, if you if you think of it, he looks just like just a little tipsy. I'll survive. It's, it's, it's kind of like more of he, he woke up with a hangover, but it's not like the excruciating pain of a, a strong hangover. It's just a, a little one. One that it hurts. Things seem to be a little brighter. But that's about it. Well, the sooner we get back to the end, the sooner I can find a way to bring him back, I guess. I don't know. Well, Maybe until I'll... then, let's let's get back to the catacombs and tell them that we've uh, finished our task. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm controlling. Yeah, you're making me strong. So you enter back into the catacombs, and uh, and there, there you see the bear warden is uh, very, you know, he's he seems to be very like a the militant leader, uh, but seems kind of jovial, you know, for somebody who's dead. He says, "Ah, you're back! Thank you so much for dealing with Zook. Uh, he's been causing some trouble, and hopefully somebody else can." Take over his residence. Uh, there was some leather in there, and I'm sure he had t some other possessions, which uh, would have been a good reward for you. Uh, but uh, uh, I don't see. Did, did you find anything? I mean, I, I didn't really have any like material rewards. <laughs> I'm kind of a ghost. Um, uh, but hey, uh, good news. Uh, the <laughs> Didier Maddox uh, did meet with the Gold Whisper uh, clan. Uh, I have some spies over there keeping an eye on them. Uh, and uh, uh, talks with well. Uh, we'll have the gold whis whisker dis district, and they'll be helping out the uh, city rebuild. And we think it might be very amenable. In the meantime, they are working to figure out the best plans for war. I recommend that you check in with the digger medics to see if they have any other tasks that will help take over the well, what was it, the pudding king? And get rid of all them um, oozes and jellies. <sighs> if you have any questions for me, then I might be able to help give you some insight. Please let me know. You deserve some reward, and unfortunately, all I have, well, fortunately, I don't know, one of the two, is information. <laughs> Mostly about the city. 
Uh, were you were you alive when the the wars were happening in the city? Ah, uh, yes, the Drow invasion. I was here. What started that? Did they just come and invade your home? Uh, it was revenge. Uh, apparently, uh, the Drow uh, made for Mithril Hall, and. Uh, the dwarves had had asked for assistance from Blingdenstone, and we helped. But after after we did, they came and ransacked us. We it was a surprise attack. We didn't even know what was coming. And after all that, they just decided to to attack out of nowhere. Well, they did by their time rebuilt their forces and sent their armies to strike back hard against us. It was a great and force that laid siege for Blindenstone. Yeah, just us, just us for Feblin is no match for the Drow army. Thousands of us were slaughtered that day. Was was Vasek one of them? Maybe. Ah, yes, him in him in Udkask. Amongst many others, but uh, many of them, there are many of rest, and uh, also some of them who have not, but have been hanging around and been my assistants in, in the aftermath. Why are you still here? I'm here to protect the city. If I can stick around even in this forum, well, I will do my best to help. Yeah. What if you go mad or something? Oh, I sure hope not. I think my sense of duty is, is allowing me to stay. And hey, if the if we get the city all in order and everything's fine, maybe I'll be able to actually rest. In the meantime, it's still a dangerous place. <laughs> Well, since you brought up the, these oozes, have they have they always been a part of Blend and Stone, or have they become more of an issue? No, they were a recent development. Uh, I think something had had started uh, earlier than our resettlement. There was a uh, lad who actually ventured in that area up in the northwest, and he was never seen from again. Probably that Pudding King, or so he claims to be. Uh, I really need to keep my notes in like one spot and not two. Not Zuck my I keep forgetting what the the ooze demon. <laughs> Two books. Um, I don't know if you'd be aware of something like this, but have you heard of the the Demon King, uh, Jublix, or Demon Lord? I'm not wouldn't one to know anything about the uh, outer types of demon, such like that. We we suspect he might be causing this ooze invasion of Blundenstone, but. We're influencing at the at least. Yeah, I couldn't understand that. Especially if he's he's more of the ooze demon, you say? Yes. He would probably want to muster all of his forces all in one place. Oh. And we need to do something about it. But there's many things when it comes to oozes that have to do, such as conventional weapons aren't much use against them. Uh, you would have to get a certain equipment to reinforce them and make it so that they don't corrode your your weapons. Um, I think the digger maddocks are trying to figure out a way to do that. We might even need some more covering fire and weaponry, uh, but we need more resources for that. Maybe uh, maybe Grackle Stug might have some help with that. 
Right, if we can get get someone there to negotiate a deal. But I'm not the one planning this invasion, but I will but me and my uh, fellow kindly ghosts will be able to assist. I hear they're planning a meeting. Yes, uh, Karad here was instrumental in developing that uh, that relationship between the two two peoples. Oh, with the gold whisper. Whiskers. Yes, and the and the uh, the wear people as well. Well, that they're both the same. The gold whisper oh, yeah. was wear rats. Oh, yeah. Here, uh, just to kind of uh, about a little. This map layer. There you go. Uh. Oop. I wonder. Oh, where'd it go? Do it. This one. All right. To find out what tasks you may need, you may want to check in with the digger medics. They've already got the gold whisker, whisker clan on their side. Side. Um, we. Um, with the help of taking out Ogrevox Bane, we also have the Stoneheart Enclave. I believe you've been dealing with Kazook uh, Pickshine. He is a, uh, he is uh, one of the representatives from the Miners Guild, and I will be also attending a meeting with the Digger Maddox uh, in well tomorrow. Um, so you guys must must be able to go home or go back to your uh, tavern. I believe you're at the foaming mug, I believe they're calling it right now. Uh, take a rest uh, and come meet us tomorrow morning uh, at the Diggermatic Hall. We'll have a meeting to figure out what our next moves are to prepare for the assault against the Pudding King their Ruses. Huh? Have any, do, do you, does anyone else have any questions for him? Or should we go rest? I'm good. I kind of wanted to leave as soon as we entered this room. <laughs> <laughs> Lasser's just been outside this entire time. <laughs> okay, back to the end. Uh, most direct way, maybe? Okay. I mean, you have to squeeze and move. One pro problem with this is that there's a lot of tight places here for all you medium-sized creatures. I just got to hunch over a little bit. Yeah. Not as much. Yeah. Uh, as you enter the uh, foaming tap. Foaming tap or foaming? Fummy mug. Fummy mug. Tappy's, uh, Tappy's there, uh, preparing. Says, ah, uh, Crad, I'm back. You're back. Uh, how's been things been going? Uh, I have a sense that the Ninja Rush is coming very soon. Yeah. There, there's some trouble ahead, but nothing can handle. <clears throat> Thank you. I need a drink. I think that's the last thing you need right now. Just give him water. Yeah, I'm paying, man. I can give oh. my own. Give him water and only water. Oh, your drink? 
here. And she goes below the 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 counter and she pulls up a mug. Mug and it's full of some sort of liquid. I sip. Tastes like water. I can taste this, man. It's not. <laughs> you think I'm a fool? Well, you also point. don't look very good. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? I mean, you left here this morning. And you were looked like you were fine. I mean, did you find some other alcohol somewhere else here? Because you weren't drinking anything since you left here. So maybe you poisoned me. <sighs> me never. Unless you drink way too much uh, to drink, but I usually cut you off. I'm a very responsible ta uh, tavern owner. I knew it. I take my uh, water and I'll just go slump on a uh, table or something. Uh, a uh, orc goes uh, sits down next to you and says are you doing okay like, hey what happened to your amulet um where's your, where, where's your gold tutor dragon um so the way I imagine Lasser is just sitting with his head in his arm like this and um he's also <laughs> like has his other arm up and he's Snapping as if he's just trying to summon Borcat back. Um, Nothing's happening. Yeah. <laughs> start start getting a little beat. And he's like, "What's been snapping?" I lost Borcat. Oh, can you get him back? No. I mean, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right, you you don't look so good. Uh, did you need me to get you some water? You probably maybe some food. I have good hearty sausages. I need a drink. Brad, make a real sausage. Yes, yeah. make it spicy. That's all I do. Oh, I like Karad. He's also adorable. Hmm. Uh. Why don't you go sleep with him tonight? <clears throat> he he grabs you by the scruff of the neck and pulls you up. And it says, you mean we sleep with him tonight? You're, you're Honestly, I don't, like, I don't like know what's Like a foot that. off the ground. You, you, your head was... If you, you hadn't like kept your arm with your head, it flops down to the, to the table... Well, you got your neck kind of like this. <laughs> uh, after my headache goes down, maybe. I don't know. All right, food, water. Uh, after a few minutes, a, a orc comes into the kitchen where Karad's cooking and says, Hey, uh, I was just wondering something, uh, Karad, uh, if, if you're interested, I would love to, um, have you join me in Lassiter tonight? No. Why not? It'll be fun. Have you ever wrecked someone before? Jesus. I'm just gonna put this lightly, like lightly as I can. No, I get out my kitchen. He 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 moves his face and says, "What if I ordered you to?" Brad just like. Puts down the cooking utensil, utensils, turns around, and as soon as per, on, like, on, on, on the right, right thing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see this. He, he rolled a six in intimidation. 
So what Ron sees as Crad puts down his utensils and turns around, his eyes like flare up, like actually fire up a little bit and just goes, you can try. Ront is about twice her size. Physically. Oh, I am fully aware of this. But. It, it, <laughs> oh, you okay? No, I understand. There's more to it. If somebody's looking at the two of you side by side, he is literally twice your size. That's how large this orc is. He's got his head down or straight into you. You look at him. Straight, mean face. Eyes flared up and f basically on fire. And he suddenly squeezes down as small as he can and starts backing slowly out of the kitchen. <laughs> Lassiter, if you, as your head is still why down. Do I also why do I also vision Ron having at least a partial because of that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he'd be the one that kind of, be... <laughs> it's got a little bit of a tent to it I, was like, I feel like he'd be slightly turned on about that <laughs> like not wanting to admit it but slightly turned on Just a bit. fucking trying to come up in my kitchen like that disrespect well there goes that idea <laughs> <laughs> Shut down. Also, he doesn't have any charisma. We <laughs> tried. Ron shut down by tiny dwarf. <laughs> you all have uh, some food. Um, uh, uh, Ron, uh, make sure that you <laughs> Laster only drinks water. Uh, you actually, after eating some food and drink, just drinking water, you're feeling a bit better. Oh, man. I mean, you don't have the buzz that you really enjoy, but um, at least you don't have the headache anymore. Oh. You feel normal. So horrible is what you mean. <laughs> I mean, it's a matter of perspective. Right. Yeah, average, non drunk, not hungover. Uh, what is the taste of my mouth? And just for funsies, Crad, give me a cooking utensils roll. Uh, we'll go with dexterity on this unless you want to go with whiz. Oh, no, uh,. Yeah. No, I definitely wouldn't want to go wisdom on this since yeah. that is my negative modifier. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's some of the best tasting food in the evening and the smells coming from the kitchen are wafting throughout Blingdenstone. Comes the rush. Tappy is on her uh, on her best waitress S. sort of thing. He's on uh, S level. She said she she actually uh, as people start like really coming in, uh, she asks uh, around saying, "Elvis, uh, uh, Sarah, uh, could you could could you help? I'll, I'll pay you." No, you don't have to. You don't have to pay us, but just, just, sure, I'll help. I suppose I'm giving you room and board, anyways. Um, yeah, yeah. Here, here. Take this to table two. That sort of thing. I'll help and, for a drink. Uh, last year, you no. Uh, if anything, go to your room. Um, Rod, <laughs> if he doesn't do that, please take him with. <laughs> I got Oh, I have an idea. Just so call the gauge. Just so call the gauge. Hey, uh, can you do that copying yourself thing and, and help gauge, out? Gauge says, 
uh, give me a few minutes. And he, he goes uh, off to his room, and about ten minutes later, after he takes off his armor and gets into, like, casual clothing, uh, he comes out, and there's two of them. This has a different persona and everything. Nope. It, nope. It's, it doesn't say anything or do anything. It just, All it does is, like, carries things around. <laughs> Like you'll see him go to one table while the other one goes to another table. Efficiency. All this helping out. Tappy goes, Holly, uh, enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. That's that's something I can do for fun. I never, uh, I never got says, to use this before. Uh, Prince Daredel, um, uh, Enjoy. Uh, I can certainly help out. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Jim Jar seems to be. Um, uh, uh, Jim Jar comes up and says, "Hey, how about if I do some? I can help out." Well, although I could use some extra coin, says Tappy. Tappy looks at him and says, "I'm still just giving you room and board right now. You probably actually have a tap with me very soon." Soon, because you are actually a resident of Blingdon Stone. He goes, okay, maybe I can use this to work off any debt I have with you. And she goes, yes, that's the case. Do a good job, or I will kick you out of here. He goes, ah, I, I got you. I'm with you. I'm helping you. And he also helped. Uh, Jim Jarrett also helps out. So, so if you get... If you keep it keep it cooking, crud, I have an idea. And she'll start ritual casting. Make a giant serving table. <laughs> and just float it, float it by all the uh, customers back and forth. It's starting to get crowded, so so you actually have the the tensor slowing disc go up in the air and over everybody's heads, heads to get to the next table. Well, yeah, uh, there you go. That's that's all I can forbid. Last the rule, just go outside. Uh, uh actually, uh, Ronta has taken you to the room. He is uh, literally probably. fireman throwing you over the shoulder and, and and taking you up into the room and out of the way. Uh, and uh, while he's doing that and there's noise in the other room, uh, things happen. You gotta take care of that partial somehow. Yep. He, he needs to reassert his dominance. <laughs> well, uh, dinner rush ends. Um, the uh, uh, room empties. Having a great meal. Um, I'm sure Crad, Tappy, and everybody helps make sure that everybody else is nice and Basically, fed and well, bas not basically, and fed, and you guys can relax uh, for a little bit before going to bed if you'd like. Unless there's anything you would else like you would do like to do before you head to bed. I would like to seduce Ront into getting me, sneaking me a drink. I would like you to make me a persuasion check with disadvantage. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ah. Uh, Nearing the end of the uh, dinner rush, uh, Ron comes out and says, uh, I could use an ale. Tappy! Tappy goes, uh, order up! And she gives him an ale and says, thank you! And he starts 
slowly meandering around the room. I'm not bad. And, um, and eventually disappears back in the rooms. Laster, you, unless somebody's trying to stop him. No? Nope. Okay. He sneaks off when into the room and he gets Laster, uh, <laughs> delivers Laster an animal. Well, it comes to him and Ron, I'm just like, nope, I'm not getting involved with that. <laughs> Lasser, when he walks in the room, what is his reward? Oh no. <laughs> uh I mean just a general description. You don't have to be too too uh, too detailed. I'll uh I don't know what what's something that couples do. <laughs> Are you guys a couple? I don't know. I mean, I have no idea what we are. I, I, I think it's more of some sort of DS relationship, but you know. uh, your adventure has a benefits. They have fees. <laughs> no, wait a minute. No, that's not. AWBs. <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's just, just move on. Oh, just it. in general. <laughs> because you said you were trying to do seduce him, so. No. Obviously, there has to be a reward. <laughs> I didn't expect it to work. <laughs> I would say that <laughs> based off of. This is wisdom and and a, a, a roll of fifteen. You convinced him. He's <laughs> thinking nothing. Oh god! So you get, get an ale, ale and you get really you know, the tad kiss. buzz, but you know you've had a lot to drink before, and you know probably need more than just one ale to really get any buzz. This is like it's, it's it. It's got a, it, it tastes really great. Is that but, bedtime? You know, well, this, this is, is like at the time? tail end. This is the tail end of, of the dinner rush. So probably a couple more hours before dinner, or an hour before yeah. dinner time or bedtime. Whenever you get, I mean, everybody who's helping out is probably exhausted by now. I just mean, from if, all the if, work. <laughs> If Front is able to snag any more drinks, then I'll send him to like a Pound Town or whatever. Well, he's more like he sends you to Pound Town, but that's another matter altogether. Uh, but uh, needless to say, there's a bunch of noises coming from uh, Front and Lasser's room. Brown, brown, brown. Um, uh, so, so unless anybody else has anything to do, want to do? Uh, before we go to bed, uh, this is just something I'll do in my room. Um, I am going to channel um, a immolation into the spell gem. Okay. That's anything it. else? No. Great. You all get a long rest. I don't think anybody needed much of a long rest, but hey, you got one. Hey, I, I used a blade song. <laughs> there we go. I did use get a up, spell. Get, get up in the morning. Um, Lasser, you feel perfectly fine. No, no hangover. Nothing. Uh, you also hear what? As you see, um, as you see, laying on the bed near you is a gold pseudo dragon. Fuck. 
Wow, don't sound too happy now. You had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he does seem to, every time you look at him, he glares at you right now. You'll get over it. It was a mistake, I promise. Uh, what a jerk. It, what a jerk. At, you look at your necklace and it's gold again. That destroys my plan. Thanks. Welcome back. He just rolls his eyes. Uh, I'll go downstairs and wait for everyone else. Barkhead uh, jumps on your shoulder as you go downstairs. Ron comes with you stretching, uh, completely shirtless. Pants on, though. You see when Karad makes breakfast? Yep. You all have a nice breakfast and uh, a uh, deep gnome walks in, in and uh, sees everybody gathered together having breakfast and says, Ah, there you are, adventurers. Uh, the Diggermatics invite you to a meeting at Diggermatic Hall in about an hour. Please attend. We appreciate that. Thank you. He turns on their yell and leaves. Um, that is here, right? Yep. 14? Okay. 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 Uh, did, did, did they give us a time? Uh -huh. That in an hour. Uh, is that elven hours or? <laughs> it's an hour. All right. Well, uh, finish eating up, and then in an hour, we'll. I'm sorry. In like fifty-five minutes, <laughs> we'll head on over there. So you head on over to Dicker Medic Hall. Uh, you enter and you see a uh, round table set up uh, with a. Unless y'all. Unless y'all yeah. want to purposely be late. Why would we want to do that? Uh, fashion. Nope. Make make uh make it so that they don't feel like will be there at their beck and call without their dogs pretty much right comments uh didn't, didn't didn't they say they could help us get to the surface we might want to be on their good side that is a good point Are you sure you didn't come across any spores last night? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, by the way, poor cat's back. <laughs> he look over. She looks over at poor cat like, I'm so sorry for him. Uh, <laughs> he gives you a shrug. It was an accident. Uh, so we enter Diggermatic Hall, and there's a table. We see a big table has a uh, map, uh, which uh, has actually a couple maps. It has a map of uh, the Underdark, as well as a map of Blingdenstone. It has uh, uh, some mark marks on the map of uh, where... Uh, basically circling around uh, where uh, all your j jelly friends are located. And there's a X. A 
no idea what that is. Oh no. Come on. Let's do freehand. X right here. Oh, that doesn't work very well. Change the color. Here we go. X right here. Can you see it? No. Let me make this a little bit oh. thicker. Okay, yeah. X! Here we are. That works. Right here. And, and uh, there's on the map of the Underdark, they have a uh, uh, place uh, a place off the um, uh, Dark Lake on the west side of the Dark Lake uh, circled and another place that's a little bit northwest of it uh, circled. Uh, one of them says weapons, one of them says uh, uh, fungal pool and field ingredients. Um, and then um, or fungus. That's why it says. Or fungi. Fungi. Uh, then uh, near where Blingdon Stone would be on that that map, there's uh, E B with a question mark. Where is it? This is on the uh, map of the Underdark. Actually, let me, let me give you the map of the Underdark and and illustrate this. Oh. So. And Mock Boon? And Mock Boon? Yeah. So, there's a... This. There's a question mark here, here. There's a circle over here. Circle over here. And... Text. One guy. You know, I can barely see that. The better. One guy. Over here. Weapons. Present at this uh, council meeting, we have the two uh, diggermatics, the Chief Dorbo and Quartermaster Senny, along with Nomi Path Shutter, and they'll introduce everybody as we go along, and Gurnip Tapfinger, which are representing the Stoneheart Enclave. Uh, you see your friend and uh, uh, merchant uh, uh, Kazook Pickshine, who's representing the Miner's Guild. Uh, you see the ghost of Bear Warden. And then Jagger. And you also see um, your were rat friend, Chipgrin Goldwhisker, uh, currently looking just like a deep gnome. Although he does, he, he does apparently have the, um, the, like, the, like, stereotypical, like, whiskers of a rat. Kind of coming off around around where his nose is. So kind of walk up and start to do a little polite bow. Ah, there you are, friend. Morning. Says Betty. I'm glad you can make it. I see you've uh, been making a battle plan. Uh, yes, we are getting it. We. we we are making some plans. Uh, a couple of things that we've determined, determined to help. Let, we'll start with uh, Nomi. Uh, if you would like to tell us what you think might help us with this endeavor. Uh, Nomi comes up and says, Well, one of the things that has been lost since we, since we lost the city was a location known as Entomox Boone. Uh, it was a ritual site uh, near Blingdenstone. 
uh, that allows us to summon uh, powerful elementals, uh, stone, um, earth elementals. Uh, they would last for quite a while, uh, much longer than their normal summoning time. Would you need them? Would you need to summon them in order to face the oozes? Uh, they would surely be of of help. Uh, one of the things when when summoning a earth elemental normally is that the caster must have some must concentrate on the spell to in order to keep them keep them bound to this plane. However, doing it from Entomox Boom will allow us to summon them and no one needs to require some any concentration. We just need to provide the material components in the form of of gems, which we are able to provide. And what about the these circles here for Neverlight Grove and Grecklestug? Verify a few things. Uh, bear, the Bear Warden speaks up. Well, one of the things we may need is some more weapons. Uh, we, uh, most of the people who came here ended up uh, coming here with more of plenty of rebuilding the city than, than having any sort of assault. So we need some more weapons, and one of the best places to get that would probably be a fortified city, city such as Grackelstook. I uh, believe that uh, one of your members is from that place, and we hope that you could help us make connections. Looks the crab <laughs> for breakfast too. I'm like, mm. about that. Really hope that wasn't a main point in your plan. I, I know people that you can talk to. Um, I, I I myself probably can't do many of the introductions because I'm not really well connected with people. I know people, but I don't know them well. So I can tell you the people, but like to talk to and all, but I I, I can't make the introduction. Hmm, that might be a problem. Um, well, we could use at least an escort of assault shipment that we would be using for the trade. We have some negotiators that would be coming along. Um, if you're willing to at least escort at least to close to Rackle Stew. Um, if you can't go in back in the city, sounds like you had some trouble there uh, in the past. Uh, we don't judge. You did did good here, and oh my, uh, I hear I keep hearing tales about all the good food that you're cooking down at the Foma Mug. Well, that's keeping people's spirits high here, and keeping spirits high means better army. In addition, um, actually, uh, I believe Kazook has this one. Kazook says, all right. So um, one of the things, even if we have weapons, uh, uh, because they're oozes, they have this ability to corrode corrode regular metal weapons. Uh, but I know of a formula in order to protect your weapons so they don't corrode or anything when using them. And uh, I could do that, but we need to grab some fungi. And the best place to find fungi in the Underdark is another night like, grove. Oh, it'd be great. Great. We just go there. We can uh, see if we can get some harvesting. They're really good at populating everything, so it should be. It shouldn't really be much of a problem. They're very nice creatures. Last time I, t I spoke to any of the myconids. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. I hate to burst that bubble too and all, but um, the Netherlight Grove has not not the greatest place to be right now. We know of some. Myconids that can help, but they are no longer at the Neverlight Grove. But but the the fields at the grove, but they, they're the ideal conditions for what we need. Yeah, they're um, a group of a vast group of the Myconids um, got 
taken over by what we assume is one of the demon lords. Oh. Oh, no. Which is what we also we think. to sneak in and gather what we need or something? I mean, did, did, were they actually really hostile to you at all, or...? They were trying to add us to their armies of their own, using spores. Mm. It unfortunately claimed one of our, our, our members. Hmm. Mm, this is very, uh, a very problematic situation. Uh, Chief, uh, quartermaster, any, any possible ideas? Want to do? We're we're more here for reconstruction of the city. Um, uh, I mean, you're you're the best pie master that we would have, even though you're dead. Can you even leave the plane? So, ah, no, I don't think I can. So we're gonna have to actually get some more. Uh, assistance somewhere, somewhere if we were to get, to get some sort of things, maybe maybe see about see if we could find that uh, track down those uh, uh, the Thelmachanids that that are the good ones. You said you say escape from Neverlight Grove with a group of them. Yes. Now maybe if you could track that, if we could track them down and see if we can get their assistance, maybe to at least. Maybe they can somehow sneak in, gather what they need, and get out. Um, they might be able to help because, you know, Mykonids amongst Mykonids, they might not notice. We'll have to discuss it with... We get somebody to discuss it with them. The, uh, Gold Whisker says, I uh, might know a couple people I might know, know who would be able to help out with that. Um... We had these two uh, show up recently in, in our group. Um, this is Chip Grin that's talking. Uh, called, uh, uh, they're, not, they're actually twins. They're Topsy and Turvy. Um, <laughs> they seem to be uh, be well traveled. They apparently they were they were captured by some drow, but escaped. Uh, we had, they said some friendly people, but they got kind of scared. Scared being around them didn't want to hurt anybody about anything. So. Um, but, Sorry, uh, did he got scared of their their friends? Uh, for them, they didn't want to accidentally like turn into wear rats and start like killing the members or something like. That. Um, so uh, they did say them. something about traveling with a, a young Mike and it. Um, um, not sure if you knew knew that you ran into these people at all. Doesn't sound familiar. Crabs these people. Well, actually, they they were traveling with us a long time ago, but we we lost all track of them. We thought they were either turned or who knows what happened to them. But we, we escaped the. Uh, oh God, we escaped the drows. Uh, imprisonment together. Oh, so you you know them? Um, maybe uh, some of you might be able to tell. Uh, do you maybe uh, so the machinid that escaped with you? Uh, uh, are they still alive? I hope so. Uh, he he went off with his people, but we haven't seen him for at least a little. At least still over a week or so, maybe more. Is it with Netherlight Grove? He was there, but he he traveled off, didn't he? Yeah, he left with you when you guys escaped from yeah. Netherlight Grove. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, that might might be a good connection. Uh, hopefully, uh, um, uh, he liked Topsy and Derby. I don't know what your impressions of them were. They were, they're not still us. Uh, now I'm starting to speak like the bear warden when I'm trying to do chip grin. Chip grin is just a little bit different. Uh, he's more of mafia. So, um, yeah, uh, we could see what they, uh, see what we could do. Maybe uh, hook you up. Uh, see if you can find the, these Mykonids and maybe discuss with them. Maybe we could, maybe there's an alternative way that, that we could get the appropriate fungi. Um, 
here, get, give me a list, and uh, I'll, I'll send Topsy and Turvy on the way to see if, see if we can track down those Mykonids. So we've, the digger may exit. All right, so it looks like we have a couple of things. While we are working on setting up our militia here to attack the Ooh's army that we seem to have, have in our northwestern quarter, um, we need a group to escort our salt shipment at least close to Gracklestug. Um, so that we can go and negotiate for uh, some weapons. We'll have Topsy and Turvy. We'll be taking care of seeing if we can track down your Mike dead friend. And possibly discuss about matters of being able to collect some of these fungi that we can use for um, basically protecting our weaponry. And then we need a group to uh, see if we can locate an Entomox, Entomox uh, boon in order to see if we can get some reinforcements of Earth Element. When you when you're talking about the uh, the fun guys that you hope will help defend your stuff, uh, what type of fun guy are you talking about? Well, I, I mean, we're not talking about a small amount here, says Pet. Because uh, we're not talking about a small amount here. We're talking about we're going to need like several pounds of fungi, which is one of the reasons why netherlight grows so good because they have the highest concentration of uh, fungus. Right, uh, right. We need but, various uh, kinds uh, because of it's an alchemical process. Um, so we, we need to, to collect as much as we can and the best place is to find the best concentration of it. Otherwise it could take forever to just like roam around the underdark and try and find enough, uh, right. the quantities that we need. Never like Grove is our best place to do that. Just, just be careful at which ones you pick. Cause the, oh, the... no, 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 we, we already know, uh, uh, the combinations we need and how much we need of each. We're talking about some fire, fire lichens, blue cap, some tiramuk. Uh, we do need some water orbs, which will help out us. Uh, the or, ormu, uh, some tin masks. Uh, we actually do need some of the um, uh, uh, nidhogs nose and tons of madness, but very smaller, much smaller quantities on that. Uh, but still, it's a lot comparatively speaking, especially considering of all the weaponry we're, we're hoping to protect using this alchemical treatment. I'm talking, so I just turn noise. around and start walking away. I'm back. Yeah, he just it kind of goes off and starts talking about the, the chemical, alchemical nature and business of Kazook, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It'll take us weeks to come back to Australia, wouldn't it? Well, uh, fortunately, it's been, well, months since those oozes have been around, so they really haven't been doing anything. We just want to reclaim our territory, so we do have some time, and we're keeping a watch on it. I mean, we do have some ooze incursions here and there, but um, uh, unfortunately, we haven't really lost many people uh, to them, but uh, the sooner the better, but, uh, you know, we, we need the time. Now that we've gotten into a point where we think we might be able to, to take them, we just need need what we can get. Do you have any, any form of transportation that might get us there faster? Uh, like, uh, are you talking about, like, to Gracklestug, or where are you trying to go? We do go all the way back to Gracklestug. I mean, even though these yeah, users aren't presenting... I mean, we're, we're going to need... But the, the salt shipment will be in wagons. We'll have... have uh, we'll have some Roth. Uh, Roth that we'll be able to... That you can ride. Ride to 
taking the way. We can have some wagons. I mean, we have transport. We can transport people. We just need guards, essentially. Because, you know, down or dark, it's not necessarily a 100% safe place. Yeah, you have people that like kidnapping people from other planes, not planes, uh, levels of the Earth. Well, we're all down here in the Underdark. Talking about those drows that like kidnapping people. The drow? Yeah. Yeah, they're the ones who actually invaded Blingdenstone before. We're well aware of the drow and how dangerous they are. Are you? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe the fact that they completely ransacked our city? Who is this guy? Yes. I think he's, uh, his head hit the uh, head, headboard in his bed a couple times too many. Well, um... I mean, is there anything that you would be interested in, in trying to tackle first? Um, uh, because you guys, we're going to need you guys more because you guys are probably the more powerful of, of people here. Um, we need, if we can, I mean, if anything, we can check off the list, hopefully, um, and have Topsy and Turvy find your Mykonid friends to see what we can do and to scrounge up what we need for, for the fun guy. Uh, but then we just need to, to see it try to find Entomox Boon and uh, we also need an escort down to Grackle Scoop. Grackle Scoop is probably going to take a little bit longer than trying to find Entomox Boon because it's around here somewhere. We're just not exactly sure where. It's been a while and nobody remembers exactly where it was and things have changed so. It's been a while. We just need somebody to search. Quest log. Escort salt shipment to Grecklestook, or at least nearby. <laughs> Find a Tamak Spoon. Optional. <laughs> Located Mike and Ed's. Is there a shorter route to Grecklestook? I mean, we could probably go down to the to the Dark Lake itself and take a boat. But even the <laughs> salt would be under dark. I uh, don't like that. There, there, there's going down to the Dark Lake and going by boat, but uh, we're going to have to acquire some boat. I, mean, I suppose we could kind of go around the Dark Lake, maybe stop at Sloopy Doop and see if they can help out with the boats. But we don't have any boats. Yeah. Uh, let's avoid the water. I've been listening to a lot of I've been listening to a lot of lit RPG like video game based books lately. <laughs> Does every rat folk or not rat folk uh where rat have whiskers or is it only that guy? I mean, they were very in kind. Some of them were just human. Uh, were in a d when you last saw them. But right now, you only really have uh, Chip Grin. Uh, he does have two, like, currently uh, at the, uh, where rat uh, guards are there with him. So he has an entourage. Not a big one. It's just two of them. But, but everybody they... seems to be, be safe. But Do they have rat features? Yeah, they look like a rat head you, you know oh. what a, a werewolf looks like that's basically yeah. what it is except instead of a wolf it's a rat so they they're just always have rat features no they can change oh okay they could change into a fallen rat i i thought it was like giant rat but a rat nonetheless like for instance uh 
Or they could go full called? humanoid. They can go go full full humanoid. So back to Deep Gnome. Uh, but uh, apparently, apparently Chipgren likes to at least keep the the fact that he is a rare rat by having these weird these like rat whiskers coming off of his face. Yeah. There you go. That's what his guards look like. He himself has gone more humanoid, kind of dipl for diplomatic purposes. He is kind of—I uh, don't remember if it says it in here, but I, this is how I met him. Whisker. Yeah, take a look at what it says. Or his description again. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. He's a—he's—he's he's more of a fat specimen. <laughs> he's a fat rat. He's chunky. He has got a lot of chonky people in this game. You have a chonky red dragon. I love it. <laughs> you have a chonky were rat. I wonder, I wonder if somebody's made a uh, a chip grin. <laughs> uh, fan art or something because I know D and D doesn't have one. I don't really like any of these, but that's okay. That is not chip green gold whisker. I don't think that one, but I kind of like this. This is okay. Let's see if I can get this in here so you can just see, can see it. Maybe I can put it in here. Oh. I put it into our Discord channel. Something <laughs> like that. You adorable. All right. So, what do you think? What's the plan? Well, we know where the yeah, two, two things are. Two exclamation points. Uh, you got exclamation points uh, hanging over uh, one over uh, Chief Dordu's he head and one over Quartermaster uh, Zenny's head. I feel like we should do the uh, escort mission. Well, I mean, if time really isn't of the essence, if we just set up the oozes and just kind of hanging out, not doing anything, we could, yeah, do the escort all the way back to Grickle Stew, but. I guess maybe because we've done this path before, we might be able to get there a little faster. So not just kind of stumbling around. I mean, we got some people who know a little bit more about the Underdark and can easily navigate the path to Cracklestug. We know we know the route, but we shouldn't get lost. Shouldn't. Well, what do you think, Karad? Would you? I know you don't want to go into the city per per se, but. I mean, we just need to get know. it close enough that it's safe enough for us to to take everything in. I mean, how long has it been since you've been in Crackle's Day? Been a while. <laughs> That's for sure. Would you be comfortable with that, Craig?
Red's dead, oh no. Sorry, I forgot to mute myself because I was eating chips. Um, no, I guess, yeah, we can, uh, I was going to say Enemax Boon, but, uh, if we want to do Crackholt Stew, that'll be fine. I mean, are you curious to at least see what's happened to your city? A little bit, but also scared. <laughs> Gernick and, and Nomi would tell you, but if we find Endmox Boon first, we can, while you are making the trip to Grackle Stew, we can start working on conjuring, on getting ready to conjure the Earth Elementals. We would have to time it out probably a little bit, but hey, if we can get these Earth Elementals. Get these Earth Elementals, then we would be able to keep, which stay around for longer. We can get more. It just requires a bunch of gems and we have plenty of gems. Our, our minds have been essentially turning them out. Everything that we need to to make sure we have some nice strong, nice strong army of earth element. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad either. If they can start working on that, and then as we go to Greco Stadium back, they'll be ready for us. I mean, it's along the way in in some some way and shape, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, you're escorting a salt shipment. The salt shipment's gonna not gonna follow you and on the search for Entomox Moon, and we don't know how hard it's gonna be to find it. We literally don't know where it is. It's all we know. It's in the general vicinity of Blingdon Stone, but that's still a big area. It could be twenty miles out. It could be ten miles out. It could be five miles, and we're not. We never even knew it. Or kilometers. You want to go with metric? <laughs> So yeah, let's go ahead and do the crackles do if by chance we might stumble upon Edamox Moon, which I have doubt since we wouldn't have stumbled on it already upon it. But if we ha do Peachy Keen. Do the one that's gonna definitely take the longest time before doing the one that probably takes the less time? Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Uh, all right. Feel free to, to rest up. We'll, we're going to get the salt shipment um, all set up and be ready. And it's going to take us a day to do that. So we will allow you guys a, a day to relax and be ready to travel. But don't worry. We'll be providing plenty of rations uh, and, and, and everything will be taken care of, care of for the journey journey and we will meet out front of Lingdon Stone tomorrow morning. How's that sound? Sounds like a plan. Um, good. The, you've, the quest accepted comes up after talking to Gorgmaster Senny. The exclamation point above uh, Chief Gordu is still hanging there ready for you to accept that return. But it's, if you end up completing it along the ways, it just also accepts, but we'll see. It just auto-completes. <laughs> yeah, uh, so this is a great place to stop. Is there anything that anybody wants to do during the day quickly? Yeah, because we still got about an, half an hour, really. I would like to probably go see if we can find some, like, healing potions. Never going to have too many of those. Is <laughs> Since the uh, the ghost of Baron kind of mentioned that there was something in that house, you can go back and look over there from Zaruk. I'll go with Syrah if you want any uh, help with that. Or Vazic, rather. Not Baruch, Vazic. Alright. Uh, so you, we'll start at uh, Vazic's home. Um, go searching around. Um, do you just like spend time searching around or 
Uh, well, he mentioned that there was. Different. He mentioned that there was there were things here. So now I'm intentionally looking around yeah. to find just, whatever it, that could be. All right. What's your? Um, what would be your passive perception? Passive is uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. So, b spending some time, uh, I would say it takes a little bit of time for you you to find it, but eventually you do find um, that uh, you do spot uh, a concealed hole in the floor. Uh, inside is a Zirkwood chest holding eight tiny rubies. Nice. Worth about 250 gold pieces each. Look what I found last time. Uh, nice. How much are they worth? Well, a good ransom, as far as as far as I can tell. But maybe you want to keep them in case we need them for components. You never know. He says, "It's a, like a chest or box. I I can hold it if you want to look around more or whatever." <laughs> Or you can hold it and I can look around more. No, yeah, if you if you want if you want to look, go ahead. Oh well, uh, I I think that this might be what the guy was talking about. Uh, you do see, you do see some uh, uh, ratty leather. Uh, looks like he was a leather worker. My uh, no, no, nothing that's of much of value. My uh, passive is twenty. If that matters. Nope. Cool. Because they don't have anything more in there. Yeah, that's so. That's <laughs> why I was really asking. Like, is there really anything else? Um, I guess we'll leave. Alright, and you were looking Avoiding. to see about some healing potions? Yep. What the... Zook is able to provide you with healing potions. All right, I'm going to do it this way. Is this? Okay. Uh, I've gotten some help. I've been able to work with some healing potions to kind of stock up because I know we were getting into this. So we, we've had a crew working on this. So we've been able to get some. Uh, let's see what I got. Uh, Karad, roll me a d10. All right, so I got seven uh, regular healing potions. All right, now I want you to roll me a D8. I have three greater healing potions. Roll me a D6. Uh, strangely enough, we've been really lucky. We've got six superior Healy potions. <laughs> and I need you to roll me D4. We have three supreme healing potions. Well, when we started talking about this whole thing about like like actually uh, the, uh, probably having an army thing, we thought we needed to make sure we were stocked up. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. So, how, how, let's see, is it, so it's, uh, gonna be, yeah, 50 Three, gold per regular healing water. potion. It'll be 250 for each greater, 500 for each superior, and we'll do 750 for the supreme. Discount. And yeah. we do get a discount. <laughs> so the, these are the base prices. <laughs> What is it? 50, 250, 500, and 750. So those are the prices in order of weakest to strongest. Mm -hmm. You can do the math for the discount. What was it, 25%? What about the war discount? You're not there. Yeah, I think 25%. the point five obviously is in uh oh there you go uh then 375 hey that seems like a lot and then the last one it is 562.5 there we go there's the adjusted prices Obviously, the five is five silver. Thirty-seven gold and five silver. One fifty, one eighty-seven point, uh, in gold and five silver. Five sixty-two and five silver. <laughs> Doing some math here. Assuming you're buying them out. <laughs> Trying to see if we can. No, we can't. Well, darn. You're gonna have to prioritize. Yeah. Let's see, so. Let's take the. Um, the superior and supremes, the six superior and three supremes. Thousand six hundred eighty-seven gold and five silver for the Supremes. The total should be three thousand nine hundred thirty-seven gold and five silver. We got six superior healing potions and three Supremes. The Supremes are ten d four plus twenty hit points. 
that's like last legs or or, or they're down and pop them up it's, it's basically a final fantasy elixir yeah something like that so we'll have it but we'll never use it They're, they're down quite a bit. I mean, max would be uh, 60 hit points, so it's not even enough to be the equal of uh, the heal spells. And you could roll a bunch of once. Sure. So minimum 30, max 60. Like, like Sarah's creepy, but she has all of 74 HP, so... <laughs> Still a good chunk of your health. It's like tanky, but still squishy. <laughs> Let me make sure I had you guys right. For some reason, you're level seemed weird to me, but then I'm like, nope, that's it. Yep, still only level 9. Alright, so with that, any other shopping or busy work before uh, we break till next session? Because this is a great stopping place, and then we'll start with our journey back to Gracklestug. Nope. I think we're good. Alright, with that, uh, is it Thursday yet? Or two Thursday? Good night, everybody. Night.